How do you plan your retirement? Okay, so planning retirement is bizarrely one of my favorite things to do. And I know that sounds weird. I don't sit there wishing my life away, but I love life, but I am quite excited about retirement. Uh, I know that's a really, really strange thing to, to think, but I am looking forward to one day not working. And that's a weird thing for me to say, because I absolutely love what I do. And hopefully that comes across the enthusiasm I have for my job is it's just insane. But there will be a time where I don't want to do that anymore, where I won't have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning. So I'm looking forward to retirement. Um, retirement can be amazing as long as you plan and save for it. I always think about retirement is, you know, it's a little bit like a weekend. Does retirement for you, is it a weekend? Does it look like a weekend where you've just been paid? You've got money in the bank. You can do what you want over that weekend. If you want to eat out, you can. If you want to go out, you can. You can do whatever you want because you've got money in the bank. You've, just, you, you've literally just been paid. Or is retirement a weekend near the end of the month where you haven't budgeted correctly, you haven't saved enough money, and you can't afford to go out, you can't afford to join your mates, you can't afford to go and play golf or watch football or what, you know, whatever it is that you do. What does retirement look like to you? For me, I plan and I save every single month for my retirement. A little bit for today, a little bit for tomorrow. And retirement planning, let's not, let's not complicate it. From the age of 30 years old, there's three stages of life, nor to 30, that's pretty cool time of life. You're growing up, you go into uni, you're spending loads of money. Life's not really that serious, is it? It's a lot of fun. From the age of 30, life gets a bit more serious. So if you look at that middle period of your life, 30 to 60, that's when you need to be a little bit more, more serious, a little bit more, more sensible. The way I look at it is every month from the age of 30 to 60, you should be saving for the time period 60 to 90 or 60 plus. And it's just a little bit of money every month for that time period here. One day your income will stop. Don't be one of these people that says, I'm gonna work forever, I love what I do. It's not gonna happen. Your health might not allow that. Your company probably don't want you when you're 74 years old. Company might not want you when you're 70 years old. Things change. Just make sure that you are saving a little bit of money every month between that period or the future. And then just get excited about retirement. Retirement could be amazing. Retirement, retirement is expensive. Every day is a weekend. Every day is a holiday. But just think about it. You know, you, you, if you have money saved up, that's been saved, invested wisely, you've been disciplined with your money. Just think about what retirement looks like. Might be going to watch Chelsea. No, not at the moment. Definitely not that. It might be playing golf with your friends. It might be taking your family to nice holidays. You know, maybe you've got kids, grandkids by then, and you want to help them go through uni, get on the property ladder. I don't know. It depends on what your your motivations are. But for me, it's it's not looking at retirement as, oh, this is boring pension planning. Get excited about it. Think about what having money in retirement can do for you. And then just make sure that you're saving a little bit every month those months where you are not going to be working, where your income is going to stop. And all, as always, there's a caveat on that. Speak to a financial advisor. Somebody, um, a financial advisor will sit down with you, look at how much you've got right now, look at how much you need to get to in retirement. They'll work out a simple savings plan for you, how much you should be saving when taking into account different growth rates based on your risk profile and of course inflation. In inflation changes how much you should be saving each month. They'll do all that for you. They'll help you create a plan. So always sit down with, with somebody that does this day in, day out. And maybe that's why I'm excited about retirement because it's part of our work-life conversations every single day. So it's kind of ingrained in us that retirement can be amazing if you've planned and saved correctly.